This is the, we call it the bone thumb. It's actually from a company called Bone Thumb. The specific name is called the Zero Degree Knee. And so the reason it's called a zero degree knee is right now Colby's knee or his leg is at zero degrees of extension. So in the CPM we went up to 90 degrees of bending or flexion. We're now at zero degrees. Uh, it would be much more comfortable to have a pillow under the knee and be a little bit flexed. But the number one complication of a knee replacement is the inability to straighten one's leg and then you walk with a limp. So this was uh, designed specifically to eliminate that. So you have the ice pack on your knee that was given to you in the hospital. Just get it out of the freezer, put it on, put the knee or the foot in the bone thumb. Make sure there's a little bit of space under the knee here so we've dropped down to zero degrees. The goal is one hour, 30 minutes minimum, 60 minutes maximum. Then you'll take all this off, get up, walk around, go to the bathroom, get something to eat. You'll get in the CPM machine for two hours. You'll come out of that, get up, go to the bathroom, walk around the house, get something to eat. Get back in the bone, thumb, and ice. And that's the rhythm to the day. 30 to 60 minutes, walking, CPM for two hours, walking, 30 to 60 minutes, bone, thumb, and ice pack. The walking is important to prevent clots, pumping those calf muscles. We do give you aspirin for a couple weeks, but really it's the pumping of the calf muscles that does not allow clots to develop. So again, for the first 10 to 14 days after surgery, what is most important is just the rhythm of the day with the bone foam, ice, walking, CPM, bone foam, ice, walking, CPM. Uh, and if you do that, you should recover very, very well. Therapy is excellent, but really it's the second phase. First phase is concentrating on uh, range of motion.